Excuse me, are you okay? What's going on with your leg? My right leg and my left leg both are negatively charged. They repel each other. You need some help? I can hold your leg. Yeah, can you can you hold my leg? Can you take me to my classroom? Okay. I have to teach. Okay, okay. Sure. Today we're gonna talk about static electricity. Along the way, we're gonna learn charge by induction and charge by conduction. We're gonna use three things to understand to create this static electricity, and that is animal fur, PVC pipe, and an electroscope. What you saw on the road, you saw a real mystery bearing. Now you see the electroscope version of Mr. Berry. So this is Mr. Berry's leg, right? This is Mr. Berry's leg. Mr. Berry's leg are neutrally charged right now. That's why they are just like, look at here. Both legs are neutrally charged. I can work nicely. What happened if Mr. Berry's both leg, all right? Both leg would be negatively charged. Just take a look again. All right, so this analogy hopefully will help you understand the difference between induction and conduction. So induction is charged with your touching and conduction charged by touching. So let's talk about the induction. Both objects are neutrally charged. This one has same number of electron and protons. This one has same number of electron and protons. That's why net charge is zero and net charge is of course zero. However, when you bring them close to each other and rub them, you can create static electricity by transfer electrons from animal fire to the PVC pipe. And you can show that extra electron that the PVC pipe become negatively charged by bringing it close to over here. Then what happened? All the protons are gonna be come over here and all the electrons are gonna go to Mr. Perry's leg and Mr. Perry's both leg would be negatively charged and they will start repel each other and Mr. Perry cannot walk anymore. Let's see what happened. So this is called induction. Charge with your touching, all right? Now, if I move it, what happened? Mr. Perry's leg go back to same business again neutral. If I bring it close, what happened? It's magic. See, if I bring it, if I remove it, then Mr. Perry's leg go back to business. See, this is called charge by induction. That means you polarize you polarize the electroscope, all right? You polarize the electroscope. I have PVC pipe and I have the animal part, all right? PVC pipe, I have some electrons and protons, plus I have um, one, two, three, and four, proton, four, and electron, let's say electron, one, two, three, four, electron also four, total charge would be H, all right, okay? And now let's see the animal form. I have one proton, two proton, three proton, four proton, five proton. I have proton five, and let's see electron, one electron, two, three, four, five electron. Electron five, Total I have 10, so step one, I have all together 18 charges. All right, the animal fire is, uh, what do you call, the neutral, net, for, net charge is zero, and the PVC pipe is, of course, net charge is zero. Now, step two, step two, Step two, I'm going to draw it here. This step two, they come together. The this guy, PVC five, and the animal far, they come together. So animal far, I'm going to draw it by yellow. So animal far and PVC five, they come together. We call it a rubbing. So rubbing. So they call, we call it a rubbing. Okay, now let's do the step number three. The step number three, you separate them. You separate 
the animal farm this is animal farm and this is pvc farm okay now animal farm the pvc pipe would be negatively charged okay uh, what does that mean same number of electron uh, same number of proton one two three four however since pvc pipe would lose loss of electron i don't know how many let's say uh, one two three four five let's say it loses only only three electrons all right now it has how many protons five and how many electrons it has two electrons so this one has to have how many protons protons you never lose protons you start with four you end with four all right this one electron has to be six why because initially uh, it had four electrons now it gained uh, three from here so four plus three has to be seven electron so seven plus four is eleven and this is of course seven eleven plus seven is eighteen so you started with eighteen and you ended of course with eighteen now I'm going to draw the electroscope so this is the electroscope this is the electroscope this is Mr. Berry's head and of course also neutrally electroscope also neutrally charged electroscope also neutrally charged so what happened one two three four and then you have one two three four one two three four so how many proton one two three four five six seven eight how many electron one two three four five six seven eight electrons so electroscope is started with let's say 16th electron now what happened with the electroscope if you beam the charge uh, pipe how close to the electroscope so pvc pipe has how many charges uh, this is the PVC, uh, PVC pipe gain, I forgot to put that, so the PVC pipe gain, how many electrons? 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 electrons, so it has uh, 4 proton and 7 electron. so let's see, uh, 4 proton, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 proton and 7 electron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven electron. No. So PVC five. So I'm going to draw the PVC five. You make sure it doesn't touch. PVC five has four proton. All right. So one, two, three, four proton. And of course, how many electron? It has how many electron? Seven electron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. And all the electrons over here on the top, they're gonna move to the down. So all the eight electrons are gonna be on the left. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And all the protons are gonna be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the both legs are gonna become what? negatively charged as a result the charge by conduction would be what happened it you remove it it's still mr berry's legs are negatively charged still mr berry's legs are negatively charged this is called charge by conduction so now i'm going to show you the physics behind it okay all right let's take a look on the highway all right so he's, he's not going to be finding each other so one two three four one two three four all of a sudden mr barry's leg would be hitting each other all right they're no longer going to be liking each other all right so that is your step number this is step two step three step four this is step five. 
And now we're gonna find it with step six. So step six, what are you gonna do? All right, that's pretty simple. In step six, you remove the PVC pipe. If you remove the PVC pipe, what is gonna become the electroscope? Electroscope is scope gonna become exactly that way it was before. What does that mean? It's gonna become how many electrons? One, how many protons? One, two, three, four. One, 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 one. And it became, as you see that, it becomes neutral again. neutral again so this is called charge by induction now we're gonna learn charge by conduction as you saw charge by conduction even if you remove even if you remove what the 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 pvc pipe the electroscope would remain charged is because there would be transfer of electron this one, this is just polarized. This is called polarized. This is polarized. What, what happened over here? After you rub two objects, the animal part with the PVC pipe, the two become iron. This one become cation, and this one become anion. All right, so cation and anion. So when you have this neutral electroscope, when you bring the anion close to the neutral uh, uh, electroscope, then it becomes polarized, meaning all the negative charge is going to go down and all the positive charge is going to remain as close as the negative charge because negative and positive attracts and positive, negative and positive attacks, and positive and positive repel, that's why they are over here. And negative and negative repel, that's why these guys are as far as possible. Okay, so this one, this one attract, this one, this one repel, and this one, this one repel. All right, now we're gonna do charge by conduction, that means charge by touch. So instead of doing this one, we're just gonna have each. We're gonna do all these step number five and six because charge by conduction is pretty much like charge by induction. But at the end, the electroscope will be the main charge. Okay. So let's see. This is our electroscope with eight proton and eight electron. So this is our electroscope with eight proton. 8 proton and 8 electron. This is our electroscope with 8 proton. This is our electroscope with 8 proton. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 proton and 8 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 proton and eight electrons okay so this electroscope has eight protons protons eight and electrons eight okay now i'm gonna bring the pvc pipe i'm gonna bring this anion if i bring this anion and make it touch this guy what happened the proton gonna be staying there one two three four and the electron gonna be moved from there to here, all right? So electron gonna move from there to here, making this one completely negatively charged, all right? So, uh, so this one is now, so now we have loss of electron, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right, and then these are the, this is still the protons. One, two, three, four, all right? So, and lots of electrons, okay? And then, as a result, Mr. Bear is like gonna be flanked. He's like gonna be flanked, like this. So one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
I cannot put it like that. That's not allowed because electron electron depend. All right, now even if I remove the PVC pipe, what happened? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's gonna be still like that because it was charged by conduction, meaning that transport of electron. Now electrons are more. So today we learn charge by induction, that means charge by not touching and charge by conduction, that means charge by touching. Uh, and I show you using six steps.